Hello everyone, I hope all of you are doing well. So I'm conducting this class exclusively for the uh, students who have their exam tomorrow. Like I have re uh, received a lot of requests from the students to help them understand the involute method regarding the Gibbs rule and also the golden rule. Okay, so I'll just keep this session very brief so that you people can also uh, work out on your other uh, units also. So starting with what exactly is Gibbs rule and golden rule. Like uh, if you come across this type of questions in your exam, then how do we differentiate between them? Okay, it's very simple. For Gibbs rule, they will give you what is the width and what is the height? Okay, both of these things will be given in the exam. Okay, the question will be like that. But when it comes to the golden rule, only the height will be mentioned. Okay, this is the difference between Gibbs rule and golden rule. Now, let's start with Gibbs rule. And as I told you, I am going to give you a quick overview of how you have to do it and you people will be able to understand this in a very easy manner okay like i will be explaining this thing to you in a very easy manner so please pay complete attention over here so just like i told you that uh, in gibbs rule they will mention In Gibbs rule, they will mention the width and height. So let's assume that the width is given as 30 centimeters and the height is given as 35 centimeters. Okay, the width is given as 30 centimeter and the height is given as 35 centimeter. So what do we have to do and how do we start? So starting with one point, like you have to make one point and let's call this point as O1. Okay, we are doing ionic volute using Gibbs rule. So let's take one point O1. Now from this point, what is the width? It is 30 centimeter. So on the sheet, okay, I'm doing it in a very small manner, but anyhow, when you are doing in your exam, you will have to draw a very big thing. So it will be a 30 centimeter. So imagine that from here to here is 30 centimeters. Okay, so this is O1, this will be O2. Okay, this is O2. So this is how much width it is 30 centimeter. So write it down 30 centimeter. Next, from O2 with 35 centimeter, create one line like this. Okay, 35 centimeter. Usually this width will be less than the height. So over here, 30 centimeter is given as the width and height is given as 35 centimeters. So 35 centimeter. Next, this will be O3. <clears throat> okay, this is O3. Next, from O3, using the same width, create a line. Okay, so this again will be 30 centimeters. So this will be O4. Now till here, you have to use 
these values which is given in the question itself okay 30 cm 35 cm so this is 30 cm this is 35 cm and this is 30 cm so basically this is the width this is the height and this is the width now again from here to here you have to create one more line but that line will not be 35 cm okay so how do we create that line now there is a formula for that so what is that formula let me show that so what you have to do is along with writing down i mean along with uh, drafting this ionic volute besides this diagram you have to write down the steps also okay so i'm just roughly writing down the steps o1 2 o2 is 30 cm then o2 to o3 is 35 cm then o3 to o4 is 30 cm next is o4 to o5 so how do we do this now there is a formula for that so what exactly is that formula that formula will be width divided by height multiplied by the size of the previous line okay so let me just demonstrate that 30 divided by 35 into what is the dimensions of the previous line it is 30 so 30 so let me just calculate it 30 divided by 35 into 30 is how much it is 25 25.7 cm so this line okay from o4 to o5 <clears throat> you have to create a line okay this will be o5 so this o4 to o5 will be 25.7 cm next is o5 to o6 same format o5 to o6 so what do you have to do 30 what whatever the width is given in the question so 30 divided by height okay 30 is the width 35 is the height so 30 divided by 35 into whatever the size of the previous line is so it is 25.7 so 30 divided by 35 into 25.7 let's do that 30 divided by 35 into 25.7 so it will be 22.02 or 22 okay so this line starting from o5 to o6 this is o6 okay so this line will be 22 cm now the same process you have to continue till you reach O eleven, okay. At least eleven points we have to create. The same technique is there, okay. Like let me just demonstrate one more point. So O six, so from O six to O seven, O six to O seven equals to width divided by height into whatever the previous dimension is. So this is twenty two centimeters. So into twenty two centimeters. so let's see what that is 30 divided by 35 into 22 cm okay so suppose like for those who are very new to the calculations part press this button okay this button you will get a symbol like this so 30 then press this arrow button this cursor will come down see it it is coming down and it is blink, blinking over here so 30 divided by 35 then press this arrow so that this cursor will come up okay now it it has come up over here then into what is the size it is 22 22 okay 
then if you are getting an answer like this press this button so what is the dimension over here it is 18.8 18.8 cm okay so you have to go on till you reach o11 okay so let me just do it like this i am simply making lines now but when you are doing the same thing in your exam you have to use this technique okay so this will be o7 then o7 to o8 and while constructing these things don't forget to mention the sizes over here so this is 18.8 cm okay then this is o8 then this is o9 don't forget to mention the sizes over here okay o9 then this is o10 i am telling you guys once again i am just randomly drawing this lines right now because i have already explained you how much i mean what steps i am doing to get these dimensions okay you have to follow that then this is o10 then finally this will be o11 okay now after reaching o11 what do you have to do now okay what you have to do is take your protractor okay the d shaped geometrical instrument and place it like this on o2 okay like this and mark 45 degrees and using your h grade pencil okay these this line what i am drawing from o2 these lines should be construction lines okay and you have to create it using h grade pencil only because they should appear very light okay so then after marking the point what i am doing i am creating a line like this this line the length can be any much okay you can take it beyond this figure also then after o2 the same process should start from o3 okay mark 45 degrees then extend the line okay it should start from o3 and it should continue then next is o4 so for o2 i did like this for o3 i did like this then for o4 i am doing it like this o4 then mark 45 degrees and extend the line okay like this and as i told you already i am repeating it once again these lines should be very light okay you have to make it using the h grade pencil h or 2h whatever it is so now o4 next last is o5 okay so for o5 what will i do i will place it like this okay then i will mark 45 degrees and then i will join it theek hai so over here you will get a shape now since i am randomly doing it i am not getting a proper shape over here but if you do it in a proper neat manner what will happen is you will get a rectangular shape like this okay you will get a shape like this next what you have to do now is from the center of this to this center create a line this then from this center to this center make a line like this 
okay now what you have to do is you have to mark the points as a b c d okay let's do that so this this point okay this point will be a then this point will be b this will be c and this will be d okay let me just put it into an enlarged form over here so a b c and d next next what do you have to do is again from this center okay make a line like point over here and over here then again this center make a point like this over here and make a point like this over here and connect them to form one more circle one more square or otherwise let me like if you are getting confused how to do that forget this okay forget this point i'll show you what you have to do so just like how you created the diagonals from o2 o3 o4 o5 now from o6 o7 o8 o9 create one more like that okay like 45 degrees diagonals okay place the protractor over here mark 45 degrees and create a diagonal then again from o7 45 degrees then create a diagonal then from over here o8 mark 45 degrees create a diagonal then from o9 mark 45 degrees create a diagonal so now this diagonal that you are creating will create a shape like this okay it will create one more shape inside this bigger shape okay it will be like this okay forget the earlier method that i have shown you like half of this half of this half of this forget that this is how you have to do okay from o6 45 degrees make a diagonal o7 45 degrees make a diagonal o8 45 degrees make a diagonal o9 45 degrees make a diagonal okay after doing it again you will get a shape like this then this shape call it as e f g and h okay a b c d e f g h like in some techniques they are also writing this as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 like that don't do that okay only be concerned with a b c d e f g h okay if you are going for 1 2 3 4 like that you are going to get very much confused okay and you don't have a uh, lot of time to understand that entire concept okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 like that so just remember this is a this is b this is c this is d this is e f g h all right next so just imagine that this is how it is looking a b c d e f g h next what you have to do is from point b extend a line like this such that it goes all the way up and touch this line okay like this then what you have to do is take your compass just give me one minute okay take your compass then place the pin at point a okay like this at point a this is point a this is b this is c and this is d okay so place your point 
okay this pin at point a and extend it such that it go all the way up and touch this point over here like this okay it it should go all the way like this then from here make a diagonal okay make a curve okay make a curve so this curve will go all the way here and it will touch this point okay so it will touch this point where you are extending this it should be like this so this curve should go here like this and it will touch here it will touch like this then next from point b touch this line okay extend or uh, decrease or increase the pro, uh, compass so that it goes and touch this line then extend the curve like this okay so since i have not taken proper dimensions i am not getting it connected till here but in your exam when you are doing it properly this curve okay this arc will come all the way like this and touch over here so this point is where the d will get extended okay this and this will touch next from e again extend it like this then okay a b c d so you created this from a then you created this from b then from c to here okay from c to here make up arc and this arc will develop then place your compass at d take this much distance and make an arc so this arc will come like this then again from e okay take point e now you have completed a b c d now to here this distance make an arc so this arc will come like this so then the same process should be repeated at f g and h then finally what will happen is when you okay i'm so sorry there was some internet issue at my place so anyways so since from e place your compass over here like this make a curve then from f this distance continue then from g continue so okay so this way what will happen is you will get a curve like this curve 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 and then finally you will get a circle inside that's it okay this is what gibbs rule is all about okay this is what you have to do that's it okay but remember one thing when you are drawing this i mean when you are drafting this thing you have to simultaneously write down the steps which you are making okay like what did i do after coming to uh, the seventh point was 07 to 
08. So like that, I have come till 09. Then my ninth step was 09 to 010. Then my 10th step was 010 to 011. That's it. Then after that, what did I do? I took 02, 03, 05, and I created diamonds. Okay. So that in the center, a shape gets formed. Okay. After that, what did I do? Then I took 06, 07, 08, 09. Okay. I created 45 degrees angles and I created one more shape inside. Then after that, what did I do? I labeled them. Okay. I named them A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And after that, you know what, uh, what steps I have done. Okay. So this is what you have to follow. All right. So this was all about Gibbs rule. Next is golden rule. Okay. So I will end this session here and I will explain golden rule in the following my uh, channel, just subscribe to it and press the bell shaped icon so that whenever I'm starting something, then you will be able to one more class in which I am going to explain the golden rule.